Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Visha and in today's video we are going to be doing a the not necessarily a detangle with me, but we are doing um how I moisturize my daughter's hair throughout the week. Um I'm moisturizing her hair after we washed it, which was like five days ago. Well, six days ago, because I did this yesterday, which was Saturday. What you saw me spraying on her hair was aloe vera gel that I actually homemade. So you're going to see some little white little flakes from the aloe vera on there. It's because I didn't strain it, but that's perfectly fine. Um, with her hair, I'm starting to go back to how I used to do it when she was like two, three. And then we moved overseas and I stopped with my routine. So now I'm going back to what I used to do and which was always spray aloe vera juice on her hair. Her 4C hair really honestly loves it. I know a lot of people might be like, her hair's not 4C, but in reality, when it is dry, she's like 4C, 4B. So I keep her hair in, se in sections, and I also keep her hair stretched out during the week. Um, we used to do twists, and then I just realized that twists does not do anything but keep her hair tangled, like literally tangled. I don't like when it get puffy. She doesn't like when it get puffy puppies and twists so she actually asked me mommy can you just plait my hair up and that's what I have been doing um since this whole COVID happened her hair first was in box braids then from box braids we did the little pop smoke hairstyle then after that hairstyle I washed it and I currently did it like this so I mean I'm loving it her hair is growing it is actually thriving so much better now with us keeping it um, stretched out and I think that's for now on how I'm gonna have to keep her hair is stretched so it doesn't shrink um, and right now what you're seeing me do because I'm in the back of her hair I am so sorry about the lighting I honestly thought the lighting was okay because I put the ring light in there I apologize in advance for that because throughout the whole video the ring light is going to be going in and out um, so you see me detangling her hair right now, finger detangling. The only tools you will see me use in this video is a rat tail comb and also a brush to brush her hair down. What I just showed you was some homemade oil that I had made. Nevada hair loves castor oil. It, it loves castor oil. It thrives off of castor oil. So I made her like a castor oil mixture. Um, some neem oil it's a lot of stuff in there if you guys want me to do a video of a base like of a base what I do um, I won't actually tell you all the ingredients because I actually do sell this oil but I can definitely give you like a you know just a base so so the first thing you guys saw was I spray with aloe vera juice then I go in and then I put the oil I'm sectioning out her parts right now after I do this, let's see what I'm doing first. I'm still on her hair. Okay, okay. <laughs> still on her hair. I just decided to do a voiceover. She asked me yesterday, Mommy, can you just go live? I was like, no, I just prefer to do a voiceover. So I'm technically not combing her hair. What I am doing, if you guys can see, I am getting the, um, the aloe vera you know the little white stuff off of it like off of her hair that's what I was doing I'm not combing her hair with the rat tooth comb natural hair that is a big 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 no no so now I'm going in with my kinky curly knot today her hair loves this and with a mixture of aloe vera juice I had got this from um Kim A tube like way 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 back in the day um, Kim A2 with the aloe vera juice and the kinky curly knot today and I know she added something else in there so you guys might want to go look at that but this will always be like a oldie but goodie that's the hair that came out for me finger detangling then after I do that I go in and I put my homemade shea butter mix in her hair yes I stopped buying hair products out of the store go back to what I know and just make them myself her hair thrives better my hair stripes thrives better like it honestly does I don't have to worry about what's inside of the product or this and this and that right now 
with the natural community. People are making a lot of money off of us. Learn how to make your own hair products. You only need the bare minimal. You, we don't need a lot. We think we need a lot of products in our hair. In all the reality, we don't need a lot. As long as your hair is moisturized and then sealed with some sort of oil, a sealing oil, not a penetrating oil, but a sealing oil, as long as your hair is uh, moisturized with water and then sealed <laughs> with a oil or with a butter, then you are perfectly fine. You do go about your whole business. You do your wash day, wash it all out, do it all over again. That's all our hair needs. We don't need too much. So, like I said, the only tools I was using was a rat tail comb and a brush. And I'm just brushing her hair up. And it's going to go into a ponytail. We were doing three ponytails today. I asked her. She said three. She is a simplest. Nivea does not like to sit down and get her hair done. She really honestly doesn't. She feel like that take away her playtime. But she likes to get her hair done. So if we go out somewhere like yesterday we went um, shopping for clothes. So when we go out somewhere she does not like for her hair to look a mess. So she always like mommy can you do my hair. So that's why we did this yesterday. I was like oh you know what. Let's just go ahead and make a video. Um, let's just go ahead and make a video. And guys I know I have been MIA. I've been MIA because YouTube was like the last thing on my mind. I'm just being honest right now, especially like I had told you guys before. I had started working then two, three weeks because this, this is the third week. So three weeks prior than that, I was doing a double shift. I had did a double shift for like five days straight. There was no way I was going to be making a video. So now my house is back in order. We know what my schedule is going to be. We know how our homeschooling schedule is going to be. Everything is okay. So we, like, we know, I know how, what's going on in my household, which I honestly like that. Because if my household is not straight, then I'm not straight. And it, like, honestly aggravates me. So now that I have a routine of the things that is going to be done in the house, I'm actually good. Like, we're good now. So I'm just plaiting her hair. And I'm sorry. I was out of frame. That's why I was actually like telling her to go up and pushing her up because I actually looked in the, the viewfinder and saw I was out of frame. Another tip when you are scratching out the hair. Okay, so I plait the hair. I plait the hair. Once I'm done plaiting the hair, do not plait it all the way to the ends um, because it makes it harder for you to honestly take that plait out when it's time for you to take it out. So I just twist it. Look at her little cell. She was so happy. Because <laughs> we have been monitoring her hair growth. Like we literally been monitoring monitoring her hair growth. And she just thrives. I Guys, get books. Like if your daughters, they want to know about their hair. And they want to know like why their hair grows the way that it grows. And why not straight guys get hair books? They will start to love and embrace their hair. She actually like really loves and embrace her hair. We had this phase before where somebody thought she had it to have hair like Elsa. You know, nothing wrong with little girls with straight hair, but I just wanted to I want to teach her like, hey, your hair, you're black, your hair is gonna grow the way that God implant and got planted it to grow. So that's what we doing. And y'all, I am not editing out this voice over. I am not. We just going to mess up and we just going to keep on going. <laughs> so it's just going to be as real as real. So this is her hair right now. As you can tell, I am seeing here right now in the video too, her ends definitely need to be cut. So her wash day is next week. Um, her wash day is next week. So once I wash it, I would definitely be putting it back in box braids again and then we're going to keep it in box braids for like two months or so. Probably like two months, a month or two months. It all depends on how I feel um, or when she tells me that she's ready to take it out. But I'm going to do the box braids and then I'm going to um, cut her ends. So we that's what we're going to do. And I only cut her ends like every six months or so. <laughs> 
every six months or so. Okay, so another tip. So you see how it looks like I'm doing this all in one section, but don't just do the outside of the hair. What you need to honestly do is, okay, so spray the aloe vera juice. And that my aloe vera juice is aloe vera juice mixed with water. And then I store it. I do keep that in the fridge because aloe vera juice will mirror do, especially when it's in this raw form. If you guys want to know how to make, if you want to, I will make that. I'm not even going to ask you guys anymore. Uh, some people answer, some people don't. So I'm going to make that and I'm going to show you exactly how I make it and then how we keep it stored or whatever. But okay, so back to what I was saying. So when you spray the hair or whatever you're doing to the hair, just don't do it in that one section because you're missing that whole middle part of the hair. You're missing that whole middle part of the hair. And I honestly love this Doppler because the Doppler is like so good. It goes straight to the scalp where I want it to go. Like I want that oil going on her scalp. That's where I want it to go. And I do put it around on her edges because her air, her edges are more porous. That's with a lot of people who have natural hair. Sometimes your edges is more porous than any other parts of the hair. So that is definitely one of the main places that I make sure I put like castor oil on it. Again, here we go with my Kinky Curly Not Today, which I need to go buy some more. So, okay, you see how I did the outside? And then I'm going to split the hair in half. And then I'm going to put some in the middle. You cannot forget the middle because the outside will be good. And then when you, it's time, you're taking out your hair and you're like, why well, I got dry patches? It's because you did not get all, you didn't, you didn't get all your hair, sis. That's what happened. You did not get it all. So here I'm going to take my time and thoroughly finger detangle. So I'm going to go through each part of her hair and I'm going to finger detangle it after I put my shea butter mix on it. And then we're just going to go in and we're going to finger detangle it. So again, on the outside, I'm going to split it open and put it in the middle. So you guys see that, right? You see what I was saying? The outside looks good, but then the middle, it didn't look good at all. It looked it dry. So I'm going to go through each piece. I'm going to make sure I got that butter on each piece of her hair. And you would definitely tell if you need to add any product to it because right now her hair is damp it's not soaking wet it's only damp and that's another good tip that i use when doing the best hair i like to do her hair damp i never 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 do her hair dry even when i do box braids i would let her hair be stretched out for a day then the next day i would still go in and damp her hair and then do it in a box braids. I never do her hair dry. I feel like kinky, you know, curly hair dry is definitely going to break. And I don't like to leave her hair out neither. She likes her hair out. I don't like to leave it out. So I felt a dry patch. Um, well, it wasn't dry. It wasn't moisturized. So because it was still damp, but I didn't feel no butter on it. That's why you saw me adding the butter back to it. And I'm just going through each piece. She is so extra, y'all. So extra. The facial expressions. She is so extra. I'm just going through each piece to just make sure I get it. She's so extra. And I'm being so gentle, but her face expressions does make it seem like I'm not... So just keep going, doing the thing. And then once I'm done, I'm going to brush her hair and put it in a ponytail. And we're going to do the two plaits again. So that's what I'm about to do. And y'all know y'all see my wig cap on, but I was not wearing a wig that day. I actually had on a, um, a scarf. What I like to do with my hair is I spray my hair with water, put oil in it, and then put my scarf over it. So while I'm wearing... I mean, put the wig cap over it. So when I'm wearing my, my scarf, my hair is not dry from it. It actually is not um, dry from it. So her twist, 
I mean, not her toys, but the scrunchy ponytail holder that I'm using. Make sure it has no metal pieces in it. And also, I do not, I do not do her hair tight. I only do it around three times. That's it. It could have possibly went like two more times. But I only do it three times. The hair is not supposed to be tight. And I'm telling you guys something. If I only do it three times and I still see that her hair is tight, I would literally take my um, take her ponytail holder and like pull it down a little bit so it can get loose. You do not want your kids' hair tight. That is how the edges come out. That is how hair breaks. So again, I'm finger detangling. I'm plaiting. I am plaiting overhand because when I plait underhand, it makes the plait tight and I don't want a, um, a tight plait. I just want like a this ain't loose neither, but it's not tight. So I'm just doing it overhand. I get to the middle and then I'm going to twist. I get to the middle and then I'm going to twist. This has been a lifesaver with us taking out her hair because the only thing I have to do is untwist and then take out the plait. I actually love it that way. I'm going to do it again. We're going to plait her hair. See how this lighting is like super crazy and look how moisturized her hair is it is so moisturized it's not even dry it's like it's good and i'm gonna do the thing where i moisturize her hair like twice a week instead of once we had went a week without moisturizing her hair and that's not good you don't want to wait until the hair gets dry and then uh, moisturize and try to seal it because it's just not gonna you know it's not going to be what you want it to be. So don't let the hair get dry. And that's something I need to, you know, kind of tell myself to. Don't let the hair get dry. Even if I have to do it the night before she go to sleep. So as soon as she wake up in the morning. So again, take it all the way down. And then when you get to the bottom, twist. Guys, if you don't like doing hair, if your kid's hair is frustrating to you, if they don't like their hair getting done, Play some music that you both gonna like, that's both relaxing. You see, she's just standing there. I'm just standing there. We listening to my music. <laughs> we just listening to the music, okay? So after this, I think I was done. I didn't film the other side. Yeah, I didn't feel the, um, the other side at all. I'm just showing you. We're done now. <laughs> and we're just gonna put her bows in and... She had wore um, black and yellow yesterday. So we just put in the bows in. Guys, tell me some of the things. Like, tell me what you all do to your daughter's hair. How you keep their hair moisturized during the week. Or if you got a son and he has hair. What do you do to keep his or her hair moisturized during the week? Like, what are some of the things? Give me some tips and tricks that you use to. Um, if this video was very helpful to you, like, honestly, let me know. In the comments below I know a lot of people always ask me like what do I do to her hair and this is what I'm showing you this is exactly what I do to her hair we are so simple like naturally simple if we don't have to do too much I don't do too much I will only plait her hair keep her hair in plaits or braid it and when I braid it I don't do those small braids I actually do like those you know chunky braids Especially right now, she's homeschooled, so we're, we are literally not going anywhere unless we're going to the stores. And I don't have to worry about, you know, nobody picking on her hair. So here we go. She was so happy. <laughs> and then the final look, guys. Slow-mo for ya. It's so cute. Her hair has grown a lot. <laughs> Her hair has grown a lot. And that's it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Bye, y'all.